just an updated one. All right. Good afternoon. Good evening, guys. My name is Sushil Hoover. I am one of the Platinums and I attend Cardholder and Evolution in Archer Travel. So in this training named Stop Whining, Start Earning, uh, this is how the training is going to, I'm going to show you how you can make daily commissions or instant commission, okay, to where you are going to collect that money right now. So, love the title. Thank you so much. Okay, because everybody's like, what? Oh, stop whining. I mean, they're whining because they're not making money, right? So, stop whining because there's a lot of way on how you can make money. So, before we start, what you're going to need when you're doing the daily commission, we're going to use our Evo rewards from our back office. I am also going to ask you guys to um, create an account through Square App, Venmo, Cash App, or um, what else is the other one? Stripe. Now, with Venmo and Cash App, I wouldn't really recommend Venmo and Cash App because um, there's a cash app or Venmo name that you have to send to your client. And sometimes, and it happened to me that I actually said, well, I sent my code, right? My link, but then again, my client decided to just type in my name, my cash app name. So it's missing out a letter. Uh, instead of Sushi Hoover, she put Sushi Hoover, okay? So that right there, yes, you can use that PayPal as well. So I learned from that. So now I stick to using Square App and a lot of business owners already using Square App nowadays, right? It's not free. However, you can get a free processing fee for, for up to $1,000 if you get the link from your mentor or from your travel trainer or maybe from me, right? So you can get a free um, $1,000 processing fee, up to $1,000 processing fee. Also, so that's the second thing, right? The third one that you're going to need is you're going to need the credit card authorization form. Now with daily commission, remember this is what we're doing right now. It's not a built-in commission, right? Now, when it comes to built-in commission, it has already, you have to use the credit card authorization form from our travel cafe, right? But with daily commission, this is outside Archer Travel and Evolution Travel, you can actually create your own credit card authorization form. And then, of course, if you'd like to use still the one that's from the Travel Cafe, you are more than welcome to. Okay. Uh, what else? Now, I have a question to you guys. When we do daily commission or instant commission, do you have to fill out a commission tracking form. Anybody? When you're doing your daily commissions, do you have to fill out the commission tracking form? I don't think so. No, no, no. Yes, that is correct. You don't have to fill out the commission tracking form because the commission is not actually built into the item or to the property or hotel that we are booking okay so you don't need to fill out the commission tracking form from your travel site okay i just want to make that clear also you can create your own uh invoice okay or you can google a free version of invoice like this one i google this one and i've been using this for a long time and it's actually, it's not free. You know, a lot of um, things right now is there is a subscription, right? This one, you have a free up to 21 times that you can use it. After 21 times, of course, you have to upgrade it and then subscribe. So what I do is for those of you who knows about the snip, snipping tools on your phone, on your, on your computer, use that. I use that a lot of times. So I snip that, I snip snip this, snip, snip this, and then send it to my client, email it to them, okay? So those are all the stuff that you're going to need. First, Evo Rewards. Second, um, credit card authorization form. 
The third one is your Venmo Cash App or Square App. And then the fourth one is this invoice, okay? Now, for those of you who doesn't want to use invoice and then just use credit card authorization form, that is fine because that is kind of like uh, your invoice as well. But just make sure that you guys have a copy of it and then all the information that you are going to put on the note, okay? Make sure that everything has on. is on. And then, of course, if you guys have any questions, you can unmute yourself anytime, okay? All right. So let's get started. Now I'm going to go to Evo Rewards right here. Okay. Everybody knows already how to access your Evo Rewards. Now I am going to actually click and then look for Cancun. Now, when I have a client who's actually looking for a hotel or all inclusive, my first to go to is Evo Rewards. Okay. Why? Because I want to make sure that I can get, I mean, I can find a discounted rate here, okay? Because I want money now all the time, right? I don't want to, I kind of like don't want to wait with my commission. So if I can do it through Evo Rewards, why not? But when I'm doing this um, daily commission, I'm also comparing the price to like Expedia, or the actual uh, website of that hotel, okay? Just to make sure that I am actually beating that price. I'm challenging myself that I am because we know for a fact our client is still shopping around even though they contacted us and trying to book with us, right? Or get a quote for, from us. All right, so I'm going to actually go to Cancun. Let me see here my... Thing. It's February. This is for Valentine. Valentine's Day, February 13th to the 18th. Two travelers. And my client mentioned about the dreams. Sands. This, oh, right here. Does everybody have any experience with dream sands or a book with dream sands? Any recommendations? Oh, why would I do that? Anyone? No, no, no. Okay. So I'm going to go here real quick. Yeah, I've never booked Dream Sands yet. So I'm going to go February 13th to the 18th. Let me see here real quick. And your mom said, can and I your mom It's wet over there, remember? All right. So with this one right here, you will see if your client goes to ho hotels.com or orbits.com, regular price is 827. And then for us, for us travel agents, okay, it's only $381. So you are going to save yourself $446 a night. But then again, I don't really believe in all these numbers until I go all the way out to check out. Okay. So I am actually going to look for, what was that? Partial mm -hmm. deluxe. So uh, they wanted the deluxe partial in oh. view. Trying to listen, trying to get my this. Okay. This one, deluxe partial ocean view king. So this is the total price right here. And then of course, every details is already here, additional charges or if they have uh, the cancellation policy and then if they have resort fee so this one so far i don't see any um resort fee or anything like that but here's the cancellation it's free cancellation okay so it's refundable now i am going to um expedia and then grab that the same exact hotel or resort and the same exact room type and see how much it is okay so we are looking for deluxe partial ocean view king right here right now 
Now let's see the price right here. The price right here is two thousand eight hundred twenty-seven and fifty cents versus two thousand nine, two thousand two hundred ninety-three and seventeen cents. So how much is the difference there? Let me actually split my. I'm not good in math, so I have to have my calculator. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Thanks. This is the one. Okay. So we are going to hold on a second. Give me a second. Partial Deluxe Partial Ocean View King. Book now. Okay, so 22, let's see my calculator. Oh, let's pull up the calculator. So it's gonna be 28, 27, 50 cents minus 22.93.17. So we have $534.33 difference. So to sell this to your client, how much can you add on that price, on this price for you, for you, for you to be able to get discounted rate for your client, and also you can make money. How much would you add on that? $300, okay. So imagine, not even an hour, we can actually book this and you can make at least $300, right? So let's go ahead and put in $300. So I am going to let my client know that I am actually finding this resort right here for $2,593.17. However, to be able to get this discounted rate, $300 is non-refundable. That is the wholesale fee that is not refundable. Does that make sense? You have to actually always tell your client before booking this. Now, let's say your client look at this one right here on Expedia, right? That's the first thing that actually my client always goes to and compare those prices. So they will find this 2827 and you are offering that the same exact resort for $25.96. Do you think you your client will still book it with you even though the $300 is non-refundable? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, 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 right? Okay, so now when your client, after you're telling that to your client that the $300 is non-refundable and let's say your client said, well, why there's two charges? I mean, I forgot to mention that there's gonna be two charges, right? The $300, that's non-refundable. And then the $22.93, 17 cents. Okay, now the $22.93 is refundable, right? Would you also look at booking.com? Yes, I just open up one <laughs> just uh, to make it easy, okay? And I actually go to Dream. Um, you know what? You give me an idea with that, Kim. Thank you so much. I was actually going to, because I haven't really looked on the Dreams San Cancun actual website. So let's go ahead and check that out to see how much it is really. Okay, check availability. Okay, resort only. So let's see the price right here, which is the deluxe partial ocean deluxe. Where is that? They don't have the partial one. Okay, so this one doesn't have the partial one. Right, so your client will not actually book it here because they're not gonna find it. Hey, okay, Cecilia? yeah. In the description of the um, premium deluxe 
ocean view king or maybe the deluxe tropical does it say partial ocean if you click into the description uh the tropical right here yeah like if you click into details does it say partial ocean view maybe no it doesn't say this room so indoor wear pool and no it doesn't say that no, it's part but there is a tiny little bit of ocean right there <laughs> right but right. as you can see here starting price just the premium deluxe is already 27.97 right so okay so now i know that if my client goes to this website they're not going to find what they wanted okay i don't know they are the one who actually mentioned this deluxe partial ocean view not me because <laughs> i've never booked on this one okay so now your your client let's say this is um sometimes a struggle right because someone when your client asks you well why do you charge extra i thought you don't charge extra because your vendor is going to pay you directly right well i always upfront with my client and i always tell them that we have a wholesale fee wholesale webs website to where we can get this discounted rate everybody pays that three hundred dollars wholesale fee okay now if you want to just if you want me to charge you one time or one charge on your credit card then we can still book it through other websites which is we can go to Expedia or maybe here if they have it here right and then I, I am going to charge you full price but it's just one time one one charges on one charge on your credit card so either or vendor is actually going to pay us travel agent so which one would you like two charges with savings or one charge with, without the savings right so of course they will pick this one right here because you are saving them three hundred dollars right does that make sense does that make sense hello <laughs> anybody i want to go on and continue if you guys answer does that make sense okay yes yes all right thank you so much i just don't want to go continue and then it's not really clear okay all right so now your client or our client always already said that okay let's book it then 25.93 and 300 dollars is non-refundable so now what I'm going to let my client know, all right, so now I am going to send you a credit card authorization form, okay? This credit card is authorization form is to authorize that you're authorizing us to charge your card twice, $22.93 and 17 cents and the $300 non-refundable ad, uh, admin fee or wholesale fee, okay? And then we are going to need this right away. Send uh, email it back to us right away so we can go ahead and book this. Now, always, always put um, everywhere in anywhere in your credit card authorization form that all sales are finals and then subject uh, prices are subject to change. Okay. So now I am going to, you're going to fill out the credit card authorization form. Put the traveler's name, right? The trip type, travel date, which is February 13th to the 18th. And then total charge on the credit card. So this one right here, you are going to have two charges on this one. One is $22.93 and 17 cents, right? And then uh, you're going to put the dream resort, dream sense what do they call that cancun resort okay and then you are going to put your three hundred dollars i'm going to put close parenthesis on that and i will put wholesale fee non-refundable wholesale fee Wholesale fee. Okay. 
So you are going to have two charges on that card. Now, supply your name. Okay. So supply your name. You're just going to leave this blank. Okay. Confirmation number. Of course, you're going to leave this blank because you don't have, you didn't book it yet, right? So now you can leave this blank and then put the, your client's information right here, the credit card number, the last four of their credit card number, okay? Only last four. Please make sure that you're only going to put four, last four digit. You cannot put the whole credit card number. I found out that that is actually illegal, okay? So we cannot put the whole credit card number. CVV expiration date, driver's license number, and then the daytime phone number. And then of course, email this to them until you receive it right away. Because remember, you're gonna be on the phone with them, right? You're always going to be on the phone with them to close the deal. So as soon as you receive this in your email, that is the time that you are going to book that partial ocean view. Wait, is that the one? Hold on a second. The deluxe, sorry. We're going to find the deluxe. I thought it went down. Yep. No. It's the king. <laughs> okay, right here. All righty. Let me see here. Come on. What happened? Ah, it reset. Okay. Let me see here real quick again. Okay, while we're doing this, and does anybody have any question for now? Oops, the same price, good thing. All right, so once you receive this credit card authorization form, this is the time that you are going to proceed to check out, okay? Proceed to check out. You are still going to be on the phone with your client put your client's information, your email. That is gonna be your email, okay? Not your client's email because you want the confirmation to go to your email first, just in case that there's any errors, at least you are aware of it. Any cancellations, you are aware of it. You are the first one who will actually get that notification first, okay? It happened to me one time that I booked my client. This is through VAX and I accidentally put my client's information, my client's email. But then again, when their flight got canceled, my client was the one who called me and told me that their flight was canceled. And I was like, wait, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I kind of like looked dumb that, you know, I didn't know. I think I'm not aware about it. So make sure that you are going to put your email address. Phone number, you can put your, your client's phone number all the time. Okay, what if they ask if they can make payments towards this trip? Is that an option? Nope, that is not an option on this one because this is Evo Rewards, okay? Um, okay, so with Evo Rewards, yes, you can do a mock booking, however, it's not a guarantee. There's sometimes that you can post it as a mock booking. After a couple hours, it's already gone. The price is already gone up or that resort is already fully booked. Okay. That's why I don't really do this mock booking right here. Okay. So now you're going to put the credit card number, name of the card, expiration date, security date, security code, postal code, right? And then check this box. And then you are not going to submit reservation just yet. Okay. Not yet. Why? Because we are going to open up our Square app or whatever uh, mode of payment that you want to collect your money. 
Okay. Uh, let me see here. I have so much notification on my desktop. I don't know why, how to turn that off. Okay. So now you're going to open up your, uh, your Square app. Normally, I use my Square app application on my phone, okay, because it's so easy. Okay, I barely use this web, uh, web version, okay? So right here, take a payment, okay? Now, this is the time that you are going to collect this $300. You are going to put here that wholesale fee. Wholesale. Is non-refundable. Okay. Whatever um, info or notes that you want to put here, you are more than welcome to put here. Now, if you want to use this invoice for your clients, as an invoice, you are more than welcome to, but then again, make sure that you put all the details right here, like five nights from uh, February 13th to the 18th, Dream, Sands, Cancun, all that, okay? Now here, you can manually enter the credit card, okay? Expiration date and then the CBV. All right. There are some people that actually, there are some travel agents that actually charge this already. Okay. So they don't have to actually, they are going to collect the whole $300. So, but for me, I only charge $300 flat. That's it. Okay. $300. I'm not going to let them pay for the taxes because I'm still responsible for my taxes anyways. Okay. Now I'm going to actually show you real quick what is the app version? So let me stop sharing real quick. Now let me see here if I can connect on my phone. So I can show you what you're going to see you on the app version. Now, don't mind my um, all the apps on my phone, okay? I think everybody has a lot of apps. All right. Square app. So this right here on, on the bottom, the middle one, it says square. That is the application that we're going to use. When you click that, it's kind of like a calculator. You will just have to um, put in the number, how much you're going to charge, $300. And then on the bottom, it says charge 300, right? You click that and then manually credit card entry. You see that right there? And then that's it. You charge your client that $300. So now once you do that, it's either on the application or on the web, right? So let me stop sharing this one. Once you do that, you are now going to charge the, oops, second. You are now going to submit reservation right here. Okay. So now when you when they see it on their credit card uh, statement, it's pretty much the same time, okay? It's just split seconds. So they got charged $22.93 and 17 cents and then the $300. All right. So after that, you don't have to fill out the commission tracking form. You have your $300 in your card, on your card, okay? Now that $300, you can actually, um, with Square App, you can request a debit card. So you can use that as debit, okay? Now you can actually use that $300 right away. Pay your bills, pay your car note. I wish I have $300 car note, <laughs> okay? Uh, pay your water bill right so after that one 
like I said, it's up to you whether you want to create another invoice for your client. Okay. Now, after that, once you already book, you already have the confirmation number, right? That is the time that you are going to go back to your credit card authorization form, fill this out right here, and then resend it to your client. Okay, so this is kind of like their receipt with the confirmation number. Okay. Now, any questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself if you have any questions. When using the Square app, who does the client see that charge us? Okay, very good question. So they are going to see that it's Hoover Travel and Tours. That is actually my, uh, my company name, my travel agency. Hoover Travel and Tours. So you have to set it up. Your Square app has to be set up as a business and then you're going to put your business name on that. So it's legit, right? You're welcome, Alexis. Okay. Any more questions? I believe I cover everything, right? So... As you can see, this is all-inclusive, right? All-inclusive in Evo Rewards. When I first started, probably two years, I've been using just the hotels here in Las Vegas and Florida. I didn't even realize that they have the all-inclusive here until my agents told me that, hey, I just, um, I just found an all-inclusive there. And I'm like, really? So now every time my client looks for all-inclusive, this is my first go-to website, my deals. Quick question. So yeah. with Evo Rewards, um, I know you mentioned earlier that we cannot do like pre like payment plan for them. So is that just in general when using the Evo Rewards, just that mm -hmm. like, I guess that website? Yeah. There's no okay, option of, credit, uh, of payment payment uh, payment plan on this one. Got it. So they will have to pay always full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless you. you wanna, unless you want to actually uh, split that three hundred dollars and then pay it later. But why would you do that, right? Because you want to get paid for all the job that you've done already, and then who knows if they're going to pay you later on or not. Yeah, After no, I understand. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. That is why it's discounted because it's right there. No payment plan. Book it right away. Some of them are non-refundable. And then it got lucky that this one is refundable. All right. Any more questions? Dang, did I explain it real good <laughs> that you guys don't have any questions or what? All right, let me actually close out this recording. All right, guys, so that is how you are going to create or make your daily commission 